Hello everyone, this is Crow here and welcome to the channel. We are back with more Recollectors Path in Genshin Impact. <coughs> so I have to talk to Zavan. Alright. I think I'm gonna read this out now. Just because yesterday I didn't feel like it doesn't mean I don't today. Hmm, looks like you successfully completed your training. Oh, we got it done, but ugh, Sarus. After seeing that crystallized wiener, she said with real sincerity that even though it had existed for centuries, one day it would still disappear without a trace. And then immediately afterward, when we mentioned that her ode might be distorted as well, her mood changed instantly. Hmm, oh, but of course, my deeds, I mean, the deeds of Aspari should be eternal. How can such a thing be compared to that which might part into dust and ash? If something cannot be recorded properly, then there must be something wrong with the method. You wish to remind me of this fact, which is why you sent me to view the crystallized weenut. Am I right, Elder Zervan? Ah, that's the way you see it. Interesting. Do you care nothing for the renown of the party? If you're speaking of renown in the way humans understand it, not so much. Whatever you say, the present day members of the Order of Skeptics are so very dull. Of course, if there are more interesting individuals like Scar or Paimon, then that would be a different case entirely. <laughs> a compliment from Zavan. Thanks, appreciate the praise, Elder. Hold, you, you can't call her Elder. Oh, that's a goal too. I didn't know. So there's, there's no need to be stingy. So one is the old eldest here, so us calling her elder is reasonable, alright? Alright, enough idle chatter. Yes, please. If Sarus told things so highly of this human notion of renown, then the training that comes next might be just right. Alright, I await your good news. Alright, let's go. Do I have to equip this jump again? Please, no. This looks like it's gonna be more fighting. I don't know. Oh, it's again this fruit throwing shit. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I guess the mini game's alright. I've noticed people liking it and stuff. But, uh. Not for me. Not for me. Honestly. Everyone has their preferences. I don't wanna be a bird flying around throwing bombs or whatever at things. Please don't notice me, Mr. Little, thank you. Are you freaking kidding? Okay. Let me just swap these guys. Can't see? Let's dance. I see everything. Bro, just Flower, you have to bloom. Okay. Keep up. What the hell, bro? Can you keep up? Did you die or? Oh, brother, it's in a bus mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One with the force. I'll uproot you. Barbara's got such a gentle freaking um, kill your voice. I wonder who this gift could be from. I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. Let me just go to this location. Begin trial. Okay, what are we dealing with this time? Okay, I remember how to do this. Are they in the are they in the line? No, they're not. Okay, that means I have to do this. Oh, wrong button. Oops. Oh my oh brother, okay.
I wish I could just shoot this idiot. Wait, if I go down, will it notice me? Hello? Wanna scrap? No? Okay, they get annoyed if you do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. Okay, now we press one more. We get Metrio to me. It's annoying, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And... Yo! That, that went far, bro! Nice! Okay, that one. So now for the next trial. I love how I accidentally finished it. Alright, Thorny Trick. Okay, this is again that picture crap. I, I actually like that. Even though I fail it almost all the time by, um, you know, just getting the picture for free, but whatever, I do enjoy it nonetheless. This does not look like that picture stuff. Oh, it is. Alright. I'm so bad at this, man. Okay, I guess it's here. Um, excuse me. Oh. Bra. Okay. I disagree, but anyways. Even though I have no reason to because that did look right. Hey, isn't this place we passed by looking for Mir? Though Mir shouldn't be here right now, right? All those thorns, they should be Mir's companions. They look pretty good. Speaking of which, they helped us a lot. Pale floater, did you forget all that I have accomplished? No way, you might complain a lot, but you do care about your people, right? So, uh, I what did you do, sir? I can't seem to recall. Wait, why? How can you be so forgetful, Yasna Pati? I punish you with the task of several more odes. Haha, <laughs> Paimon knew it. You've got a big bark to go with your soft eye. Malicious slander. I was only here because I wished to earn the chaplet. If the elder hadn't made me come. Hmm. Well, whatever you say, Maya is part of the reason you even managed to claim the Thorn Horn Chaplet. Shouldn't you thank her for that? At least I remember why I didn't read her. Speech is annoying. Uh, for such a figure, one stained and still struggling thusly, I'd say she would only be worth any merit after another ten cleansing pilgrimages. 
10 is way too many. Oh, wait a minute. On second thought, Paimon thinks it wouldn't be too hard. The path really isn't that long. Yeah, maybe we can use it as exercise every now and then. From the name Paimon thought we would be walking for 10 days and 10 nights. As it turns out, we didn't even need to go that far. Hmm, the shortness of the strahl is making Paimon suspicious. If it was as long as the Oceanage pilgrimage, then perhaps I would respect her. As it stands now, I can only state that the distance of the cleansing pilgrimage suits me. Oh, so you part of the Oceanid family, whatever. The Oceanid pilgrimage? After the catastrophe, a great number of Oceanids came from Fontaine to Sumeru, with the path they walked becoming their so-called holy path. Strange, why would the Oceanids need to come to Sumeru pilgrimage? A pilgrimage for what? Oh brother, there's gonna be more pol os Oceanids in Sumeru probably. Hmm, I mean not Sumeru, um, Fontaine. I only heard of such a thing from my elder. Though they have been Oceanids from Fontaine, I haven't truly really looked into it. Could it be for the... I'm not attempting that. Right, so Rus said that was the god that let the party be born. If honest, a big deal here, yeah, then the thing most deserving of it is definitely the harvest cum. Screw that word. But what's the potential relationship between the Oceanage and the... Don't tell Paimon the Oceanage and Pari are like distantly related. Hmm, looking at you carefully, Paimon's really beginning to see the resemblance. Haha, uh, Paimon hasn't discovered any world shaking secrets, has he? Maybe a bit. The slander flows from your lips again, pale floater. I know nothing of any oceanid. Hmm, you're probably right. So Rus did say that the distance oceanids need to travel for their pilgrimage is far longer than Mahir's cringing. But if that's true, does that mean the oceanids are stronger than the party? Is Sir Rus admitting defeat? Mm, what, what? I didn't mean that. In all seriousness, the cleansing pilgrimage is not actually tied to distance. It is more of a symbolic event. Of the showcase in the rise and return to form. Hmm, that sounds impressive, but regardless, it is irrational to brush all Perry as lesser than Oceanage. And not because of any bias I may or may not have regarding my year. Speaking of which, why did Zofan say that next part of the training was just right for Sirius? It doesn't look like anything special here. Also, my ears missing too. Though she was here, yeah, Sirius would probably wouldn't talk to her properly either. They are pretty different in a lot of ways. One is round and the other is picky. Yeah, but but that's not what Paimon wanted to say. That fool of her existence and her efforts over the centuries are forgotten, then what was it all for? Maybe that's the question for um, that Zofan wants Sarus to think about? It seems that Sarus still needs some time. Man, that was a lot of dialogue. Jesus, I am regretting my decisions right now. I am not doing this next time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, see and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.